This video is on SSID. Before transmissions between devices can occur, wireless access points and client have to associate with each other. The association process occurs when a wireless adapter is turned on. The client adapter immediately begins scanning the wireless frequencies for wireless access points, or if using ad hoc mode, other wireless devices. When the wireless client is configured to operate in infrastructure mode, the user can choose a wireless access point with which to connect. This process can be automatic with the access point selection based on SSID, signal strength, and frame error rate. Then the wireless adapter switches to the assigned channel of the selected wireless access point and negotiates the use of port. If the signal between the devices drops below an acceptable level or if the signal becomes unavailable, the wireless adapter initiates another scan and looks for access points with stronger signals. When the new access point is located, the wireless adapter selects it and associates with it. This process is known as re-association. Whether your wireless network uses infrastructure mode or ad hoc mode, SSID is required. SSID is a configurable client identification that enables clients to communicate with a particular base station. Only client systems configured with the same SSID as the access point can communicate with it. SSIDs provide a simple password arrangement between base stations and clients in a BSS network. ESSIDs are used for ESS wireless network. When a single access point is connected to the wired network, and to a set of wireless stations, it is called Basic Service Set BSS. An extended service set describes the use of multiple BSS. Ad hoc mode is sometimes called Independent Basic Service Set IBSS. Independent Basic Service Set forms an ad hoc independent self-contained network with station-to-station -station traffic flowing directly, receiving data transmitted by another station, and only filtering traffic based on MAC address of that receiver. The 802.11 standards enable a wireless client to roam between multiple access points. An access point transmits beacon signal every milliseconds. It includes a timestamp for client synchronization and an indication of supported data rates. Client system uses the beacon message to identify the strength of the existing connection to an access point. If the connection is too weak, the roaming client attempts to associate itself with new access point. The association enables client system to roam between the distances and access points.